jump! No. Jump! Honey, I come can't on, do jump! It. I cannot do it! I'm sorry! Oh, come on, it's an easy jump! <laughs> Previously on Bioshock Infinite. Elizabeth and I have been jumping through portals in an attempt to acquire some arms for Fitzroy. In the latest edition of Columbia, there are a few important things to note. 1. Chen Lin is dead. Again. B. The Vox have guns anyway, so problem solved, I guess. And 3. I died as a martyr for the Vox. This makes me woozy and bloody nosed. We head to Fink's factory in hopes to get our ship back from Fitzroy. When we arrive, she murderates Fink right in front of us and threatens to do the same to Junior. Elizabeth solid snakes her way in and kills Fitzroy dead. Covered in blood, she hops on the airship and changes into the only thing she can find, her mother's dress. Thinking she looks silly, Songbird shares his thoughts with extreme prejudice. After coming to, we find the Lutesses practicing for their upcoming recital. They tell me I can control Songbird if I become a master musician like them. Also, I need a different instrument. Comstock can get us what we need, and also murdering him sounds like a productive evening, so we're off to his mansion where we suspect we can find him. Booker. That's Comstock House. If we're gonna find him, we should start there. The Vox are coming! We need to leave the dock! We need, we need to, push to push off immediately! The Vox are coming! Where are these people going? Wherever the Vox populi ain't. Everyone here seems pretty distracted. It's gonna be pretty easy to take all their money and their lunches. You know, I think I wanted to take a look at my equipment. Move around some of that, because it's been a while. I don't even know what I'm wearing anymore. Killing with Devil's Kiss, Shock Chocky, or Bucking Bronco causes effects to chain to nearby enemies. Uh, so the only thing I changed was this uh, chaining thing. That's all I changed for now. And uh, I want that banana. All right, Comstock House, here we come. Get ready to be destocked. See you guys. Man, the city just ain't looking too good, is it? Where are you going? I just want to leave. I do ah! That was brutal. I ain't gonna say no to a fresh corpse to loot. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was hoping I could like assassinate him or something. Went into Halo mode. Alright. Leave a little trap there. In case they come around. Oh, get that mosquito going. Elizabeth? And you're my team now. Oh, I set someone on fire. Alright, who's still alive and why? This is where I wish I had a sniper rifle. Gosh, that was awful. This one. Do you think he wanted any part of this? Did you? Where'd you get the rose? Did you unlock this? Come on, give me something challenging. What is it about that song that brings in the bird? It always has. When I was younger, I used to be excited for Meredith. Excited? He was all I had. He fed me, brought me books. He was my friend. Friend? Until I grew up. And I hated him. Because he was my warden. But he's just Comstock's pet, isn't he? Just like me. All yours. people get their blood up. It ain't easy to settle it down again. This is on our hands, isn't it? Gnarly. Here's some Power! Cash. Now! Okay! No! Don't not give me cash, the cash! There we go. Good. I was scared. I was like, don't tell me I just ruined a moment for free money. Locked. Elizabeth! No problem. It's done. What do we got in here? Sold it up, yo. Just what the doctor ordered. Rise up, 
This prophecy business. You don't think anyone can really see the future, do you? I, I saw something once when, when I first got here. A dream. It was New York, but larger than any New York I ever saw. It was burning. Mm. None of the prophet's magic is rubbing off on you. Look in the thingy things! Put your face in there! There we go. Welcome to Emporia! Emporia is where, where, is where all the rich people lived. In their swanky suites. What the heck was that? What is this, a horror game? I didn't sign up for this. Got it. Do they have Skyland races? That sounds awesome! That should have been a DLC for this game. I just realized who those two are. They, well at least she, invented the technology that allows the city to float. Giant balloons. Quantum particles, suspended in space-time at a fixed height. So, not giant balloons? But the thing is, my book said they disappeared several years ago. I told you they'd come. No, you didn't. Right. I was going to tell you they'd come. But you didn't. But I don't. Are you sure that's right? Something tells me they're not exactly what they appear. I was going to have told you they'd come? No. The subjunctive? That's not the subjunctive. I don't think the syntax has been invented yet. It would have had to be. They seem to want to help. They seem to be out of their minds. Oh, What's odd? The fact that we sometimes... Finish each other's sentences? Exactly. It would be odder if we didn't. <laughs> How do you suppose they manage that? I'll get back to you after I figure out the floating city bit. Come on. Comstock House is up ahead. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne. He was grooming me, wasn't he? Comstock? Yeah, I think so. And why lock me up? I'm guessing you didn't want to be groomed. Maybe you had something in the works to make you agreeable. I think it's best we don't find out. Who's there? Ah, crap. <laughs> Thought they'd stay on top forever. Uh, look at him. Are you saying something? The nice thing about looting the rich part of town is you get a lot of money. Always. Nice throw. Over the railing. Or the island, whatever. <laughs> Anyone wearing glasses? <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Down any of the Vox Populi I could afford glasses. Mr. Comstock, when we next meet. It won't be the parlor. See, I went out to that Hall of Heroes to scalp your false shepherd for you. Turns out, though, DeWitt speaks Sue. He helped me to swap words with this crippled child I've been, uh, looking after. Now, after hearing how the kid has fared in your city, I'm thinking when we take your pelt, I'll let him hold the knife. The Salty Oyster. I know I'll be coming back here later, so we'll do that later. Dance with the man. Come on. Lift the leg, friend. A rich girl dances just as well as a poor one. I feel like there's somebody here that I don't want to shoot. Probably that guy. Oh, fireman, huh? That was probably a bad idea, because he's definitely going to just murder everybody. Oh, darn it. I was going to try to save you, and then I wasn't thinking. Sorry about that, dude. Well, that could have gone better. What the heck are those noises? They're kind of creepy. Here you go, you sons of bitches! 
Your homes are ours! Your lives are ours! Your wives are ours! It all belongs to the box! You can have these bullets, too. Gotcha. There. On it. I'm gonna die. Catch Booker. Thank you. Great. <laughs> Made that easy. Water and electricity go well together. Two firemen. Hey, catch! That'll do. Whoops! That's not what I meant to do. Man, Undertow made freaking easy work of that fight. Woo! The Lutes field entangled my quantum atom with waves of light, allowing for safe measurement. Sound familiar, brother? That's because you were measuring precisely the same atom from a neighboring world. We used the universe as a telegraph. Switching the field on or off became dots and dashes. Dreadfully slow. But now you and I could whisper through the wall. So they were talking through universes by Morse code, basically. Or binary. That also means they're not from the same universe. It's pretty interesting. Six to five bucks. Whoop de doodle frickin' do. Someone call a maintenance guy. There's a leak. Hey, maintenance! There's a leak! Someone ought to fix that! I, s I heard my sister down the hall laugh at that joke. I mean, she was clearly laughing at my joke, not, you know, whatever show she's watching. Better make the best of it. There you go. Don't give any ground. Ah, dibs on the girl. Take it. Yeah, undertone shock jockey work pretty freaking well together. Should we check out the bookstore before we leave? Yes. Locked. Elizabeth? Keep a lookout. Alright, I'm looking. Don't you come near nobodies. It's done. I looked out real good, Elizabeth. Look at this guy in his smug little face and his rosy cheeks. What's this? Brother, what Comstock failed to understand is that our contraption is a window not into prophecy, but probability. But his money means the Lutes field could become the Lutes tear. A window between worlds. A window through which you and I might finally be together. Sally! The bastard snuck in while the Vox was shooting up the place and took my girl! Got her locked up in the salty oyster. His hidden closet, he keeps all his treasures. Just need to hit the button under the register to open it, but... Let's go see if Sally's still alive. 360! Oh, the awning totally like alley ooped me there. Done. It's really caring that he's so willing. I saw that. I saw that too. Booker, there must be a button under the register. Yeah, there's also like six dudes in this room who are hiding in a locked room to ambush me. Oh, I didn't get all three of them. Where did they go? Did they just like run away and die on their own? There's the nipple. I mean, button. Sally? Really? 
We just risked our lives for a bit of titillation. I think I knew her. Worked at a bar on Houston Street. I bet you did. Hey, at least he's got more in his porn stash than just porn. Check this out, Final Vigor! <laughs> Boosh! That Vigor's cool. Nice. Basically, you can throw up a little shield, and you're invulnerable while it's up. Or, the other used to return to sender. You have been transfused, brother, into a new reality. But your body rejects the cognitive dissonance through confusion and hemorrhage. But we are together, and I will mend you. For what separates us now but a single chromosome? Single chromosome? For you non-scientists out there, that means they're not brother and sister, but the same person. <gasps> a sink! What? What? I don't know if I can count that or not. I'll count you as half a sink. Oh, here it is. Yes! Toilet potatoes! through. We won't be able to return. Hmm. Hmm. I'm ready. What's the point of a cash register if I can't loot it? Can you open this? It's a simple dual dial lock. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. I'd rather just find the combination, honestly. Take out the middleman. This might be it. Why are you so keen on lock-picking and code-breaking? If you put a person in a cage, they develop an interest in such things. I suppose so. And I won't be locked up again, but... Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you promise me. I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right. She didn't even hit the button. 